TMNT is a interesting, a very interesting movie. Now that the supervillain intros are out of the way. Excellent. What is TMNT all about? If you're expecting something very groundbreaking and shattering, you're not gonna get it with this movie. It is a very unique, but also very safe movie. It doesn't try to do too much and it relies heavily on the source material, which in this day and age is a blessing. So the basic premise is that turtles want to be free. They want to be accepted and loved by the citizens of New York. Now, Splinter in the past has tried to integrate them into society, but it failed very miserably. So now he's basically keeping them within the shadows and having them do very mediocre tasks and having them be extra safe. Now, this obviously makes the turtles feel isolated and alienated. Can you imagine that? Not like with the brilliant idea of saving New York from a crisis and this is how they will be loved. While in the journey trying to pursue this dream of theirs, luckily they get a layup and that is by Superfly. Whoa. Superfly is the villain of the movie that is terrorizing New York and then they get this idea of capturing Superfly and then having New York love them. Obviously, it turns out to be a lot more complicated, a lot more scary than they ever imagined. And in this journey, they obviously meet April O'Neil. This is insane. Turtles, mutant, karate teens. And they tell her about this dream because she was in a situation in which they accidentally met each other. She's a bit taken back by the fact that they're turtles, but she's not frightened or scared. So that also gives them a positive light when the world sees them when they capture Superfly, they might react that way. But there's a very, I wouldn't say cynical, but a very selfish reason why April O'Neil is willing to seek help, even from the turtles, is because she has her own little embarrassment that happened and she's trying to get this story out as well so people will forget this embarrassing thing that happened and that she can be accepted or for very least be forgotten for that incident that happened. But overall, seeing this movie's layers peel off step by step is an absolute journey. Biggest positive I would have to say is Ice Cube voicing Superfly. Damn! It is imaginatively creative. I mean, you can literally visualize Ice-T in this mm, What did he say? So after seeing the type of character this is, you're like, I can't imagine anyone playing this but Ice-T. For the love of God! So I loved that approach. Porting cast. Wow, each of these supporting cast characters is so unique, has their own personality. And how was it this movie delves deeply into the stereotypical personalities of these people. If they're skaters, they're going heavy with the skater look, with the skater mentality or everything. Bro, let's just work together and have fun. So they, Boss, they got to go. They really dive deep into their stereotypes and I enjoyed that a lot because it just, at the end of the day, you have to realize that this is a movie. And when you are realizing that part and they're diving deep into those stereotypes, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. The biggest negative I would have to say is April O'Neil. I just don't know if they put a lot of thought into this character. She does have a few good moments. She does have a bit of an arc on why she's doing the things she's doing, but it doesn't really feel like this character was well polished, well integrated, morphed to really fit into the total story family if you know what i mean when you watch it you'll understand what i mean the second biggest thing i think is kv i'm not gonna give away the ending i will say the way superfly went down people it is a bit anticlimactic i mean he's really built up to be a good villain and for so much of the movie he is a really solid villain the way he goes down is the part that really frustrated me i'm like you couldn't think of a more creative way to take down this ominous villain it really is ominous by the way he really is ominous so that's what makes it so much worse and how he went down that's just my opinion on that this movie follows a very basic cookie cut story format it is being a little bit more safe and it's very cautious to stay true to the source material which again i loved but that does make you question a few creative choices they make you like was that the best choice to make good movie solid movie 
I think a sequel would be in order for this movie. I really want to see where this story goes next, especially with the little cliffhanger they left it at the end. So I would give this movie a solid 3.8 out of 5. I wouldn't say this movie is in the 4 category. I think it's close. If they stick with this approach, I think that we could have a really solid sequel. But I want them to be a little bit more risk taking with this storyline. Be a little bit more bold with it. I want to see that. Give me something unique, exciting, and most importantly, exhilarating. But I want to know what you guys think. Did you guys like the TMT movie? Did you guys hate it? What was some of your opinions of this movie? Do you think they should have done X better? Or do you think X was perfect? Probably Y should have been done better. Whatever it is, comment below and let me know. And always, please hit that like button. Please hit that sub button. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.